Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Wolf Among Us. Today we will be finishing episode 5, which is the last episode of this game. I'm so excited. I'm also really sad that it's kind of over. I probably dragged on the series for longer than it needed to be. I know some people were like, you'll get it done real fast, but I always manage to monologue and do things a lot longer. But that being said, I am really enjoying this game. It's such a good game. It's such a good introduction to Telltale for me, I think. I'm just having such a good time and I'm very nervous to see what the ending is going to look like because I feel like I made a lot of bad decisions, a lot of stupid decisions that I'm sure many of you we're not very happy with, so I won't waste much time. Let's get into the recap of what happened in the last episode. So last time we played, we started off after the Bloody Mary fight in the alleyway near the Pudding and Pie, and Bigby was in pretty bad shape. He had been shot by a silver bullet. That bullet is extremely damaging to Bigby in particular. I don't know if it's to all fables, but to him, it was definitely very life-threatening. She also broke his arm, so like his arm was out of its place and literally protruding, like the bone was protruding. Absolutely disgusting. That is one thing I cannot handle when it comes to injuries. It grosses me out so bad. We had a doctor over at Bigby's apartment and he fished the bullet out and also reset Bigby's arm, which was extremely disgusting. After he patched us up a little bit, Snow comforted Bigby and reminded him that she needed him and she also mentioned how scared she was to possibly lose him and it was a really sweet moment. It kind of echoed how Bigby felt about her possibly dying when we had that scare of her being one of the victims. Just a really sweet moment and for a second I thought they were going to kiss but they didn't because Colin was there and he interrupted them. I feel like they might have if Colin wasn't there which is interesting. I wonder if there's gonna be any ending like that with the two of them, I don't know. However, I will say I don't necessarily agree with a lot of Snow's tactics here. Since she is taking over Crane's responsibility as deputy mayor, she has made a lot of very harsh decisions, which I understand she wants to be very thorough about what she's doing, very by the book because of all of Crane's mistakes. She's also putting a lot of Fable's lives in jeopardy and basically kind of turning everything for them upside down. Particularly Colin and Toad who she wants to send back to the farm and I on the other hand kind of reassured them that I would try my best to make sure that doesn't happen. I really don't want it to happen because when you think about it, the way things are set up in Fable Town is really unfair for the fables that cannot pass as humans and have to buy glamours in order to, s to look human. Because glamours are so expensive and because I destroyed the tree where people could get them illegally, <laughs> I feel like a lot of them have the right to live amongst all of the rest of the fables, but they sadly, a lot of them cannot afford to. And I feel like that's really wrong morally and i wish snow could see it that way but she's very strict so we might as well have to go behind her back with some of the stuff we're doing i know she's not gonna like it but when it comes to the good of everyone in fable town you kind of gotta do what you gotta do anyway we are still trying to locate crane and the missing piece of the mirror so in order to do that we had to find where the crooked man normally hangs out bigby went to Beauty and Beast's apartment where he discovered that they are living pretty lavishly for the amount of debt that they're in. The two of them claim that it was just to make it feel a little more like home, which I understand, but at the same time, when you're struggling that much where you had to pick up jobs in these really sketchy parts of town, and also you help the crooked man and work for him, you'd think that you would just try to maybe downsize a little bit, but no. They don't, so now they're in all this debt and trouble with the crooked man. But luckily they knew where he hangs out a lot of the time. There was the butcher shop where they were kind of using it as a front for all of this illegal activity. We visited there first and we met a man named Johan who owned the butcher shop before the crooked man came in and sort of took it all over. And eventually he showed us the back room where they had all of their lab equipment set up and they were making all these illegal spells, potions, glamours, all of that. We told Johan that we would make everything better, we would catch the crooked man. I really hope I'll be able to follow through with my promises here because I've been making a lot of them. <laughs> Next stop was to go to Lucky Pawn, which was a pawn shop that the crooked man normally frequented. When we got there, we met the Jersey Devil who owned the pawn shop and 
Woody was there as well. The two of them were arguing and Woody was trying to find his axe that he had been missing. The Jersey Devil was not having it and eventually a fight broke out with Big B, Woodsman, and the devil himself. Big B and Woody teamed up though and we managed to take him down where we located his back storage and we found Crane's coat with a wad of cash and a piece of the mirror. So we got that out of the way. Anyway, we made it back to the office where we put the piece of the mirror back in place. In there we saw Mary and Crane arguing. Since Bloody Mary has the ability herself with mirrors and how she can almost teleport through them, she was able to know that they were being spied on and she directed the mirror away from her. So she has that power, which is crazy. And it is really interesting that she can do that. It's pretty cool, but it makes sense for her character and the lore behind her. Finally, we managed to locate the door where the Crooked Man was staying because he kept changing locations and he changes it very regularly. His current hideout was in Central Park and we decided to go there right away in order to find where he was. When we entered the door, we were greeted by Tiny Tim, who I guess worked for the Crooked Man. I don't really know, but he led us to the room where he was and the episode ended there and we weren't able to do much with him. Didn't really talk to him yet. There was a bunch of people around him though. Pretty much a lot of people that we've met so far like Georgie and the Tweedle brothers and a bunch of other people. So it's interesting to see how many people are behind him. Very curious to see what he has to say if we can do this peacefully bring him in. I highly doubt it. <laughs> really, really doubt that, but we'll see. So we'll see what happens. I'm very curious to find out what's going to happen and what the ending I'll get is going to be. Hopefully it's a good one. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, let's not waste more time and let's get back into this game and see what happens next. Alrighty, hopefully I recapped everything well enough. It is a bit late here, so I guess it is a late episode. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I actually work today, which is really rare for me to come home and record, but you know, I wanted to play this game. <laughs> so here we are. I really hope I get a good ending. <laughs> well, let's see Book of Fables. I don't know if I read all of them last time. I stopped at a really weird part to read them. But, uh, let's see. Okay. Crooked Lair. Headquarters. Occupying a des- desanctified- Okay, let's try that again. Occupying a desanctified church. This is just one of many locations of the, the Crooked Man's operation uses to run the Fable Town Underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world and the only way in is through one of many portals marked by a door with the Crooked Man's Catherine wheel icon scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. So I guess that was also like a torture symbol too, which is interesting. So this is him. This is the man himself. I guess I was wrong about my assumptions for Bluebeard. I mean, I guess it, it was kind of on the nose if he would, if he was him, so. Uh, the Crooked Man, Crime Lord. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way. Yikes. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many, many fables in his criminal web providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. That's why I'm saying Snow's idea of this perfect, you know, justice system where he'll be thrown in jail and justice will be served is not extremely realistic, at least. I mean, it happens in real life where people who are this powerful will get out of you know, jail time or any sort of punishment because of their power, because of their wealth. And I have a feeling that would happen to him too. Uh, we have Tiny Tim, the sentry, who I kind of, I guess, disrespected last time because I didn't let him do his job. Sorry, Tim. While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Monday world's knowledge of them, for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When, a uh, Milady or injury is, <laughs> is that how you say that? I don't know. Is or injury is an integral part of a fable story that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. 
That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least, and no medical care or magic, rather, none that he can afford can heal his leg. Oh, wow. So, like, the more people know about him, the better off they are? Interesting. Life on the farm. With its idyllic location, managed community. Um, I think I already read this. Yeah, I already read that. Alright, we're good. We're good. Oh boy. <laughs> looks like looks like we really don't have a choice in this episode, honestly. I'd be really surprised if I could get away with not being werewolf uh, Big B, but we'll see. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not really. <laughs> not if I can avoid it. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention was the ribbons. Marissa did talk to us. We almost got something out of her. I completely forgot to mention that. Hmm. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We need to talk to her. We're destroying the tree. Still feel don't show me this again. No. I feel bad about it. Don't. No. <laughs> what monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just you know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Ouch. Oh god, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. You got that old boy? <laughs> Wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have okay. a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't really have a choice, though. I uh, really hope I made okay decisions. I know I messed up on a lot, but... As far as, like, being there for my friends, I think I did okay. But I guess we'll see. How everything turns out. I don't know. Also, my controller might die like halfway through this episode, so <laughs> fair warning. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't die in any QTE section or whatever. Cry wolf. I might. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Whoa. <laughs> Camera's shaking. <laughs> and if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. I'm guessing there's silver bullets in there. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do I have to? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No. <laughs> Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I told you, crooked man, it's over. Really? Yeah. I don't think that's the case, but we'll see. Bruh, he never <laughs> finishes a cigarette. He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. He needs to be locked up well, anyway, Sheriff, I don't care. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Everything. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? 
What on earth do you mean? <laughs> what the hell do you think I mean? Can I have some Slavery, cheese? Slavery, kidnapping, extortion, murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I don't, I don't know. Well connected man. Well moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. What? <laughs> and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself. Wasn't it Bloody Mary? I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. It was Mary. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, I'm afraid you're mistaken. What? I have complete respect for you and your job, I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. Oh, I feel stupid now. You really but isn't it her? Up. She had that. I I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Don't make me look stupid. <laughs> the man said he'd Good take him. care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Twiddledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more <laughs> That's than That's enough. I'm the main character I was here. I hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Oh, what? <laughs> what? That guy? Really? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. That's lame. <laughs> Mary makes so much more sense. Why would Georgie do it? Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look. The fact is, Kinda George does. here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. <laughs> me too, girl. This is like bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? So what do you say, Sheriff? What? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? No deals. It's over, so get up. I'd advise against that approach, Big B. I don't... You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! What is going on? The sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll I don't know. I'll run the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm gonna hey, get shot fuck? if you're I do any of sure these. Go down this shitter with you? I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. I don't know. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh no! 
Oh god. <laughs> um, hi. Did I miss anything good? Oh no, oh no. Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> Someone take the gun away. Oh shit. Oh no, guys, I'm so screwed. Wait, no, I should have attacked the turley. Ah! I need to go full werewolf for this, baby. <laughs> take this. Oh no, oh no, oh god. Whoa, whoa. You're done, wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Oh god, damn it. Ah. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Uh, piss off. Oh shit. Y'all, y'all did that to yourselves, honestly. Oh no, why? Oh wait, he's a four. He's a fable, right? He'll be fine. I need him to stand trial. <laughs> what about justice? This way. Oh god. And we need to jump in that portal. Big B. Do I do this? I don't know. Okay, I, know, I just knocked him out. I didn't want to kill him. <sighs> Man. This is all going so bad. What do I do? Come on. Oh, shit. I don't care about him. He killed everyone. Oh, God. Oh god. No! Oh. I don't think y'all are going anywhere. <laughs> no, come on. Oh my god. Oh man! Holy shit. What's that bar on the bottom? Whoa, whoa. Dang. Why do all these cars drive the wrong way? <laughs> what is going on? Ah! Oh god. Oh no! I'm gonna get run over! Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Where is it? Oh my god, it big me! <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Come on. Oh man. We're basically letting everyone know we're a fable. How are we gonna explain this? Ah. Yes. Fuck, what was that? <laughs> what do you think it was, bitch? Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit, I didn't know that was his car. Oh god. Take him off. I can't. Oh no. Should have gone after the crooked man. Oh man. Come on. Not fair. <laughs> I was pressing X. Uh oh. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. Y'all know I can jump, right? Not Keep going. Whoa. Oh man, did I lose? I lost both of them. No. I have no sympathy for him at all. Oh, are we gonna change again? <laughs> well, we got our suit and tie back. <laughs> Let's look at this first. 
And I already kind of know what happened. <clears throat> you lost a lot of blood, bro. Yes, blood. <laughs> Um, sorry, homie, but also I'm not, so, you know. He's gonna be pissed at me. He killed them? I, that is so lame. <laughs> Come on now. I feel like I was right with Mary. She was the one who had the axe. Wouldn't it make sense? Wouldn't it make sense, though? Come on. We can't stay here. Oh, it's so dark. <gasps> Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> How did this happen, Georgie? How can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Why does she care about him so much? We need to get those ribbons off. No way I'm walking out of here. Well, it won't be your fault. Are we not? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Is she not gonna like? dress the wound or anything like she's just like it's okay it's okay <laughs> hey guys shit hello bigby i hoped you'd come to your senses <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want bleeding of course, <laughs> you're too much of an idiot to see that or maybe you just like me too much to let me go <laughs> Please, Sheriff. Dude. <laughs> I, Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It's the ribbon. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. <laughs> we all have. Oh, I'm sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons. And then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? Yeah. <laughs> you know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to- Why? Why? You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh. Look, Faith and the others <laughs> tried to pull a run on us, and as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So well, the he sign told is me going crazy. to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George, you think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> You're the one who got your well, self into this. You. He's such a piece of shit, bro. Go oh ahead my and god. Kill me then, but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. <laughs> How are you not dead? I can but see what was your I organs. To do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. I would have lost everything. All of it. So maybe I did have a choice. But it wasn't fucking worth it. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. What? So you tell me. If Free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. You don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the oh. ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All oh. that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. 
They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wow. So many things are coming out. You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place... Well, they did, girl. It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's <laughs> fucking simple, then you do it. Go it right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches don't talk can. Don't me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? I don't want to kill her. My what? It's such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first uh, place. I don't know. Wasn't really Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that oh, they can God. just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Oh god. Vivian. Can we stop her? Uh, Wait. Uh, oh, Vivian. Time, no. Fuck. No, 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 no. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian. Shit. Just Jesus. Oh my god, so that's how they die, they don't get... They, they don't get... Fucking mean it. It's oh, just ribbons! Uh, Susie, take them off! Uh, oh my god. Holy shit! Bro, I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Could I have prevented that? Oh, fuck! Get up. Oh my god, his organs are spilling out, bro. Don't think so, Big B. Oh my god. Yeah. God damn. Oh. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, alright? For both of us. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. <coughs> Will he though? He's Old. gonna die. <laughs> Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Nah. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> okay. Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. All right, Georgie. Just don't draw it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. I didn't want to do that, but... I... He didn't have to suffer anymore. You know?
I don't know if that was a good thing to do or not. Uh... Damn, what the hell? <sighs> Shit. Oh my god. We really had to get the crooked man. <laughs> oh my god. He's ruined so many lives. But he's so slimy and like a charismatic way, so he makes he, he makes it so you want to believe him almost, which is why it's hard. Still more. People like him are hard to right. catch, you know. Oh man, didn't want her to die, but they were both kind of messed up people, <laughs> you know. Not the most broken up about Georgie's death, gotta say. Well, we could just like get on the roof or something though, right? Okay, <laughs> why not? I don't know if choosing to end his suffering was okay, but I love how things come up like, Georgie will remember that, but <laughs> he's not because he's gonna fucking die like two seconds later, so why even come up with that? It's, it's kind of silly. But also, they didn't even really try to save him. <laughs> like, his organs are spilling out, he's just standing there like, Do you wanna hear the story? I'll fucking tell ya. So this is where they've been sending these. Okay. <clears throat> Getting them voice cracks in today, let's go! I am so scared. I am so scared. Don't screw this up, Aaron. <laughs> Everyone on YouTube will hate you. <laughs> Big B Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. Girl, I'm over you. <laughs> I'm so over you. Well, this camera though. You used to be something. Whoa. Have I been being spied on? Excuse me? Who's been spying on me? Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> what? Holly and Snow. Whoa. What happened? They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a badass like that. Not exactly a legacy I think Bigby wants anymore. Just be careful of mirrors. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not missing anything. I don't like corners like this. Uh oh. Can we get rid of those? The big bad wolf. Uh oh. She has. Whoa! Oh my God. It's about time you showed up. She. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy, that's nice. Does she have two guns now? Because oh, how many how many I'll bullets were in there? In one piece. Whoa. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry, this won't take long. Get out of my way now! Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? No. <laughs> oh, she's too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town. 
How dare you talk to my mother that way? Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> that was lame. That the best you can do? No. <laughs> Maybe it is. Let's go, bitch. Oh, no. Wolf time. You want to fight? <laughs> She does. Uh, Big B? Bad idea. Oh no. Probably gonna show up somewhere. But wherever I go, she's probably not gonna stay. Did I totally miss her? I mean, I know she didn't show up here, but still. Whoa. Oh god! Ow! That scared me! That was so fast! Oh no. Uh-oh. Hey! 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 <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Where are you? Come out and face me! Hey, was she Whoa! Oh, I don't like that! I don't like that! All the mirror shards in her. Ew! Ow. You know, I don't like her at all. That's freaky. Ow. Ah, ah. Oh, I'm not gonna QT. Stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm just losing no matter what. Come on, Big B. Gotta be better than this. <clears throat> Ew. Oh no! What? Why? Come on now. <laughs> There's gonna be so many QTEs. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I need help. Oh god. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh god. Stop. Oh no. There's too many of them. Too many. I can't. Ah. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> I hate this. This is giving me such anxiety. Stop. Stop. I was doing so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit, let's go! Let's go for wolf mode! Yo! So good! Damn! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, they shatter into glass, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Chew it up. Let's go. So cool. Oh my god, how many are there? <laughs> 
Can we stop? <gasps> let's <laughs> let's do it. Come on. Oh, I forgot he had that power. Blowing some houses down, baby. <laughs> Oh shit, that's so cool. What? It's so hyped. I didn't know we had this wolf mode. I mean, it makes sense. Ugh. Woo! <laughs> oh no! Oh god. Did I do it right? Oh my god. <laughs> Did I do it right? Ooh. Are we naked? Oh my god. Wow, I wonder how long it's been since he had to be in that form. It's probably been a long time. What? <laughs> hey, don't stare at me like that, I'm shy. The silver bullet. Man! Who's Hello, protecting baby. you now? You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Oh, okay. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swinehart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Stop. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate. Oh no, no, no! Wait, 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 wait a minute. There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I guess we'll bring him in alive. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. But you had them I killed. You know that. There's no difference. All I'm asking for is a chance. To explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman. I knew he would killer. fucking say that. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid. You won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. What is he waiting for? You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. But you're behind it! Georgie. He's dead, bro. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. <laughs> so, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. 
You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. I guess. Right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. Oh, God. What do you say? Uh. Okay. Oh God. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. I hope this is the right move. Your punishment will follow. I am curious to see what would happen. I mean, we'd probably just kill him, right? Makes so many people's lives easier, but. At the same time, you do this the right way. My last cigarette. I really hope I did this the right way. <laughs> I beat Bloody Mary. I got a few people killed along the way. <laughs> Said I know, Georgie and I Vivian. Know, but but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Let's go. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, let's hope things go well. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. I mean, do I what look happened? okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but <laughs> that, you know. Did you kill him? <laughs> I'm just. Glad you made it back in one piece. Aww, look at them, so About cute. About time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Shut up, bro. Yes. What are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone. What do, we, what do we do? Can I have your attention? Oh no. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that doesn't change anything. This is not good. <laughs> Deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? It's not if you shoot that. <laughs> okay, great. <clears throat> you are charged God. with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. <laughs> a misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's <sighs> guys, done. Guys, guys. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most I don't know what I'm doing. citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it then. We promised you a chance to defend yourself. 
and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about Why is everyone here? Oh my god. To pull ourselves together and make something of this town. We have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. What about all the people you want to send to the this farm? Ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. We let him he walk was around. He a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is fucking bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, They're don't all you? afraid of you, man. You do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie God. Was. What about Lily? I don't want him she to wasn't win. Free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You are? What the fuck? government fun? abandoned you. Oh my you god. And helpless, I'm not gonna debate. Street corners. I was there to look out for you. I don't stop. Yes, but wasn't I? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't pause it very often when I play this game, but I need to take a minute. Okay. Are we forgetting who the crime lord is right now? Like... You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? I fucked up so bad well, burning her grief. tree. Her story is not uncommon. No. She left everything she had back in the homelands. I everything fucked up so bad anyway. with her. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And I burnt and in turn, it. And we used her magic to help poor Fable. Fuck. Families. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. What? God damn it. Burned it down? You see? Why would you do that? We were wrong. We shouldn't have done that to you. I... I stand by our reasons. No. She was helping Crane no. and the Crooked Man. Sorry. We could have handled the situation better. And I'm sorry for that. What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you. And you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. She got a point. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly I wish want I didn't do that. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. 
Yeah, I right. I don't think I... I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting. I don't think I'm winning this. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Oh my gosh, she chose our side even though- <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, I did not think this would happen. Very good. I Very did not. Good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. I was but sweating. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. What? Just of me. course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? I don't want to know. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples. I didn't! Under my watch. I didn't beat him up. What are they talking about? Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to I kidnap him. I didn't beat him up, though. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. You're I'll a crime lord. <laughs> two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I everyone, calm down. This isn't I the mean, a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to, to who? This is how it's always been. This oh my God! Trouble. Thought we I had lost him. Our ropes to this disease world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their? Towers? You put everyone in debt. Judges. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Big B? Miss White! Oh. Thank God, someone else. I... I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Don't take Why off your you ribbon. Take a moment to catch your breath. What's what? she doing here? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Maybe I shouldn't have Go killed right Georgie. Would he have not died? You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. <laughs> you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. Go and off. we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. 
How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's oh okay, god, is she gonna dear. die too? It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. Yes. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say you're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was yes. always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. <sighs> this is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Dead ass. Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him, lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So so we get rid of him. We can uh, send everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? Uh, I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Oh, <laughs> He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. I don't know. I don't know. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. I don't know. I don't yes, know. Sheriff. Rip his head off. Right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this one. Oh god! Oh god! Ah. I was gonna throw I was gonna lock him up! <laughs> I was gonna lock him up! I hope you all. Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. Not that man anymore. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing <sighs> the right thing. Yes, there's a way. Is there though? I bring a tree. I'm so sorry about that, by the way. Do it. Oh God. Mmm. He's a changed man, you know. At least I'm trying to make him a change. I'm trying to right my wrongdoings, especially with Greenleaf. I really messed up with what I did to her. So the least I could do is is try to make it right. And I feel like killing him would just kind of prove. Maybe he hasn't really changed that much, but I want to, you know. Did she change him into a... Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. <laughs> He's got a sharp tongue. 
I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Oh Thanks, my god. Really. Who is this random dude? Who the Don't hell are you? The next time your deputy mayor gets an itch to destroy my worldly possessions. Sorry. Hey, Look, Sheriff. Who the hell are you? I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, oh. you worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who the hell is he? This oh. fucking line. Hi, people. God, do all oh, of you hate me? Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Weird. Very weird. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Is she replacing me? Wait a minute. No way! That better not be the case. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Colin. What in the world? There he goes. Is he going to my room? Probably. I don't care. <laughs> Just say we have a pet pig. People have pet pigs. I have such a stomach ache. Sorry if I'm shifting around a lot. Oof. No, are they leaving for the farm? No. Oh, golly. Jesus. No. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. I got a lot of cash. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night. Okay. Stop! I wanna. I don't. I, I don't know how to you stop give it. This to Miss White, please. Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her, she was nice. What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. Man. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ. But, uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Man, All set. I don't know how to Goodbye, stop Mr. it. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? That's not fair. How was Say I goodbye. supposed to stop it? <laughs> I 
I didn't know how to stop it. I tried. Hi. Is there no way to get Hi. him to stay? You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you going to move on if you... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Sorry. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... Oh. I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe oh, try again in a few told years. Him. What? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to be nice. I don't know what happened. But that night, at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What oh, does it shit. matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after... <laughs> I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. <laughs> I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened Is that a good thing? <laughs> when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, 
And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because Yay! you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've Yay. been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fabletown <laughs> wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks, girl. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, man. The parallel. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Wait. Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait a minute. I need to know what this means. I'll see you around. Wolf. No! <laughs> no! What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my god, wait. I... I'm confused. I'm confused. What? What? Hold on. I had to just... Let's just... Okay, let's just go through these, I guess. What'd you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% .6 of players killed Georgie. Yeah, just put him out of his misery, honestly. Um, did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% .6 of players brought the Crooked Man back alive, so you could just kill him. Did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 47.4% of players chose to imprison the Crooked Man. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? There's people who didn't. Those people are heartless. My God. Okay. You had 98.7 side accept. Yeah, okay. We've done some good here. Oh my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> special stats. Could I have... I wanted to... I feel so bad for Toad. I tried to help him. I tried. You fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. You took him back to Witching Well. You imprisoned him. You took money from Georgie. Safe. You gave her money after a fight. You burned her tree. Yes, I get it. You drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. You interrupted her sister's funeral. I'm sorry. You tried to take her ribbon off. I made such bad choices. Holy shit. You brought her along with you to church out. You promised you chose to wait for him. You stood up for what when someone sent to the farm. I did some good, I guess. Oh my god. Let's just watch the credits, I guess. Well, I'm gonna watch the credits for now, but wow. So that was the wolf among us. I I don't know how to feel about the ending. I don't know how how well I did, honestly. I did a lot of things wrong. I did a lot of I made a lot of mistakes this series. I told I told people like, hey, when I started the series, I said I'm bad at making choices. Especially, especially under pressure. I mean that I feel like is what happened most of the time. I saw that bar go down and I just felt pressure to choose one. And it's hard. It's hard when you have to sit and like make a split decision like that to to figure out what you want to do and that's definitely what happened with the tree i don't think if i really if i really thought about it i don't think i would have done it i immediately regretted it and i felt really bad um but um i guess we we kind of finished off by doing the right thing um you know we we brought the crooked man back uh we gave him a fair ish trial um narissa well, and you. Thank you, game. Him a sort of fair trial. I mean, Marissa, like I said, um, she definitely incriminated him more, but, you know, we didn't kill him. He still deserved to be in jail. He still deserved to be... 
to not be able to hurt anyone else. And um, that's what we tried to do. And I feel like I did mostly the right things. Fables. Oh man, I might have to, might have to read the comics. Honestly, very interested to see what that's all about. I actually do really want to see the comics. Oh man, uh, that was a really good game. Let me see over here though. Definitely missed a lot of these slots here. A lot actually. Wow. Let's just go through them real quick. Okay, girl with the ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke up and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbons not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized that then, she realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to risk another of another betrayal. Yikes! I could see that being extremely difficult. Like, she can't talk about it. She can't take it off. That's hard. That sucks. Vivian and Georgie's place. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands and they helped each other survive in the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the pudding and pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than forced to work through desperation to work at one. To work at one. Oh. Winter Wolf. Bigby's mother. Oh, Look at little Bigby! Bigby's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs. I have no- I had no idea about this. But then he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter. Heartbroken and alone, she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby, but as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Oh my god, this is so sad. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. From then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pain he caused his family. Wow. Did not know anything about that. That's incredibly heartbreaking. Wow, the big bad wolf. Bigby's true form. Bigby's true form is that of a giant eight-foot-tall wolf. In addition to his iconic huff-and-puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. Yeah. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. Wow. Mary's loyalty. Part of the job. Mary Blade Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased as long as she agreed to act his as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the crooked man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoyed her job immensely and would defend the crooked man to the death, mostly because she finds it fun. Great. She was definitely not very fun to fight, I'll tell you that. Fabletown Justice. When the criminal is captured in Fabletown, the traditional pr procedure is to hold a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, they, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. Yeah. New order. Snow White in charge. I'm not sure if I really like this or not, but we'll see. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as the director of operations and mayor and de deputy mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the new world safely. She's been also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Yeah, he because he wasn't really doing his job at all. After fleeing the homelands, Big B Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe with a fable colony quickly developing in the new world. Snow White and Feathertop tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed, and so uh, Snow cut him with a lycanthropy, staying knife to give him the power to change into human form at will. Wow. 
Bigby became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration because, but because of his violent past, many Fables didn't trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. But I think I helped a little bit with that, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode off here, but this is not the end as far as I'm concerned. If you guys would like to see more outcomes, different choices and stuff, um, if I have enough people interested, I might, you know, I might go through with that. I, I really like to see what more of this game has and all the different choices and stuff. I don't know if I did very well. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably pissed at some of my choices. And I'm sorry. Um, but the other thing is, I'm not sure how much it affected everything at the end of the day. Um, I know some people have issues with Telltale games, and this being my first one, I don't have any experience or knowledge if, you know, if it's true. But a lot of people say that your choices don't necessarily matter all the time. I feel like a lot of them do, or at least when it comes to... Um, interactions you have with characters because they do when it says they remember that they will remember that a lot of the time they will bring it up at a later point which is interesting it's it's a cool attention to detail but as far as like the whole story goes probably doesn't really matter as much because even though I burnt down Greenleaf's tree she still chose my side at the end which was very surprising um didn't think that would happen so that's why when I saw her I was like god I fucked up I should not have done that and I regretted it so bad um so yeah don't take any advice from me um sometimes I felt like the game was sort of um saying things like that for no reason like the whole blank will remember that or like snow noticed that or snow appreciated that um I think it's a cute detail but a lot of the time it feels a little pointless, especially with the whole Georgie thing where it was like, Georgie will remember that. It's like, no, he won't. He's dead. He's literally going to die. So that's kind of silly. And I feel like it popped up a lot of the time saying that when in actuality didn't really have much of an impact. Um, but, you know, so, some of it did actually really matter. And I feel like there are many different outcomes to the end of this. I do want to figure out what it all meant at the end like when it comes to Narissa and Faith's connection what does that mean I want to know so bad and I don't I don't know I want to know I don't know I want to know what that's about because as soon as she said that I was like oh my god this is so familiar is this gonna happen again like is she gonna die now I don't freaking know I don't I hope it's not a, a loop I hope not um, but yeah, really, really, really enjoyed this game. I had such a good time um, just sitting back and enjoying these characters and getting to know them was so much fun. Definitely not my strongest playthrough <laughs> as far as like the quality of my gameplay. So I am sorry. Um, tried to be a good person, but apparently that is a lot more difficult than I originally thought. I was kind of caught between following Snow's orders most of the time and trying to do the right thing. And I tried to defend everyone as best I could, but I also try not to make too many promises because they ended up backfiring so many times. So, you know, I was really caught most of the time in deciding what to do because I, I didn't know half the time, you know, I really didn't. The choice I'm most interested in is what would happen if I went to Prince Lawrence's apartment first instead of Toad's place because would we have saved him? Would he be through the rest of the game? Would he have been at that trial at the end? I don't know. There's so many questions I have and there's a lot of things that I want to do next time and maybe do a giant episode where I just try a bunch of different things and I put it in one compilation. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the series. I definitely did. It was a lot of fun. It was very, very cool to see all of the different choices that you could make and the storyline unfold. And anytime there's a mystery involved or a case like this, it's super fun to play out in games. It's, it's really interesting. I like uncovering the mysteries and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun this time around. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like or subscribe if you're new because I'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games and hang out with me. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.
Thank you.